Hello everyone. My name is Websroth and I am going to guide you about Adobe InDesign. It's a part 2. In which we will guide you about basic of Adobe InDesign next new 5 questions. If you like this video then please like and subscribe our channel and click the bell icon for more videos and latest updates. Ok let's start. Number 6. How to draw shadow and object effects. For this you need to create box with rectangle tool. After that, just apply color on box which you want. And then go object, go to effect and you will see some options in second drop down panel, like drop shadow, inner shadow and some more options. It's up to you what you want to apply. Let's select drop shadow. You will see new pop up. These are some options for drop shadow like, its angle. If you select 90 degree shadow will apply a 90 degree angle. You will also put custom value in this box. This is opacity of shadow. It's up to you how you apply shadow like, in dark or in light. And it's a color of shadow. Usually people apply black color on shadow. This is the size of shadow. Shadow sizes for in which size or shadow will apply on box. And this is shadow spread in percentage. You will select value which you will apply on box. After that, you will click on OK. And you will see shadow on box. It's very easy and simple way to apply shadow in Adobe InDesign. Same if you want to apply inner shadow on box. You will follow same options. After clicking on OK, you will see shadow in inner side of box. Yeah, it's very very easy. Number 7. How to apply images in Adobe InDesign. Yeah ok. Let me guide you. For image you will go and select rectangle frame tool. And draw a box. It's up to you on which size frame you need to create for image. In other words you call this frame, place hold. You can change frame box color. Usually I use double five double five double five for place hold. But it's totally up to you which color you can apply on this box. First you choose image which you want to apply on box. After selection you can drag image from folder to drop in this frame box. It's very easy way to apply image. After applying image you can select direct selection tool. And then go to image and resize the image. It's on your hand, how much you want to resize the image. Or which part of image you want to show in frame box with this tool. If you want a flip image, you can go and select flip horizontal tool from top bar. And click on it. You will see image are flipped horizontally. It's very easy. And you can also rotate image from these tools. Number 8. What is display performance? About display performance let me guide you. Sometimes when you open your save InDesign file, you see images are pixelated. You can convert these pixelated images in high resolution with display performance. You can zoom and see, this image are pixelated. 
Now you can go on top bar view option. And in drop down, you can go to display performance. In sub drop down of display performance, you select high quality display. Then see now image are fine, and its display is in high resolution, which is not pixelated. For any type of images pixelation, you can go and apply high quality display performance, and see image will be fine in display. Yeah in Adobe InDesign all options are easy. Number 9. About cropping images in Adobe InDesign? Same like I already guide you about applying image. You can create frame box, then apply color on it. After this you can select and drag and drop image in that frame box. You can go direct selection tool. And then click on image. Zoom out your InDesign frame. After this with these edges you can resize image. And drag and place image, which part of image you want to show. It's called cropping image in your way. If you want to show this part of image, you can resize image. It's up to you, how you want to present your image. It's very simple and easy way about cropping image but it's totally depends on your box size. After that, if you want to move this image, you can select selection tool, move your box, and place it, where you want to show image. Number 10. Scaling images proportionally. You can create box, drag image in it. After that, you can right click on image, there will display, some options menu, in which you go fitting option, in second drop down, you have two options, you select fit content proportionally, you will see image are adjusted, in actual size, inside the box, and then you select other option which is fit frame proportionally, you will see image are adjusted inside box size. It's up to you how you can display. Thanks for watching our channel. Hope you like our this video. We love to guide you, for your future and skill improvement. Please like and subscribe our channel, and click the bell icon, for more videos and latest updates. Goodbye.